All right, today's lesson, we're gonna be using Onshape to make a wooden coaster that we will later laser cut in the shop out of 1 8 inch or quarter inch wood. And it could be a really nice present to give to somebody or um, keep it for yourself or, or go into business. So um, when you look at some patterns like this, we're going to be talking about the array command, basically where you, array means you you make one object and then you copy it around. You can kind of see that here, that they made one object and then it was a circular pattern that they arrayed or copied around. And so that's um, going to be one of today's kind of focus, whereas, you know, this one, for example, it's, it's more of a piece of art in the middle. Um, if you look at this one, this was a, an elliptical shape that was arrayed around. And so um, all kinds of different patterns, patterns that you, you can do. All right, so we're going to get into Onshape now. And I'm going to create a new document. And I'll call it um, Coaster for Friday. All right, so I'm definitely going to sketch from the top view. So I'm going to click Sketch, <phone rings> Top and I'll zoom into the top so I'm looking straight at it. And if I was going to do a coaster, you could do round or you could do square, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a circle and I'm going to dimension it to be four inches. Of course, yours could be different. All right, couple couple commands I want you to try that are new. Um, and so one of the commands is called offset. So if I click offset, and click the circle, it offsets it on one side. So if I click the arrow, it goes to the inside or the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can double click the number uh, to put in a different number. But I'll leave it a quarter inch. And I just want my coaster to have some uh, strength, some rigidity along the outside and not have it be really uh, delicate. Okay, so once I have that, and today, um, there is one rule of today's uh, coaster, is that it can only be one sketch. And I'll explain it more later when we go to export it, but one sketch. And I'm gonna keep it simple today, um, with just like the line command, I think, is all I'm gonna do. And just so you know, I have had trouble with the array command using the spline command, which is the curve command. I'm still trying to figure that out. But here I picked the, here I picked the, uh, line command and I'm gonna go left click, left click, press escape and um, I'll do another line and I'm gonna zoom in here right right there. Okay so next thing I want to go over is the mirror command. You have to use the mirror command today. So the mirror command is right here and it says select a mirror line. So I'm going to pick this vertical line and then select entities to be mirrored. I want to mirror this, so left click, and I want to left click that one. Okay, so that's how the mirror command works. I also could have, um, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and um, press the escape key to end the command. I also could have, you know, mirrored about this horizontal line. That would have been very easy as well. but. Make sure you're kind of drawing next to the vertical line or horizontal line as a beginner. All right. Um, now the trim command is important because I don't want the laser to cut this line here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this line. So the trim command, the scissor icon. So now, basically, this triangle is going to remain there. It's going to remain it. And it's kind of cool that I can, you know, trim. I can undo things if I don't like it, redo it. But let's just say, let's just say for example, that, that, I, that I like this. Um, the next new command I want to go over is the array command. Um, and, or I'm sorry, the pattern command. By default, it's going to say linear pattern looks like a square, 
and I'm going to switch this with the down arrow key to be circular pattern. Notice how the icon looks different. So I want a circular pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click this, left click, left click, left click. All right, so I did that. And notice here it says 3x. I'm going to double click that and I'll put in 6x. Now there's six of them. Double click. I could put in 10. And so you put in whatever whatever number you, you want. I'm just going to do uh, 4. So then I, I click away from this and it's done. The only problem I found is that unfortunately, even though I, ha I did the trimming here, uh, for some reason in Onshape, I still have to go back and, and trim this out. Um, if you don't, the laser cutter will cut out this whole triangle and it won't, won't look as nice. Sometimes it's hard for students to imagine what's going to fall out of the wood and what's going to remain. All right, so I did that. So far, just using the line command. Um, so next is, I'll use the line command again, and let's say that I'm going to make a, a, like a lightning bolt. So here is my lightning bolt, like this. And again, I wouldn't do it right at the corner there, because it's, it's going to have a really weak connection point. So I'm not going to do it here, so it's got a connection point that um, is strong. Um, and I might even have a, a, a circle here to connect this together. So if I press the escape key, and again, you can, you can hold on to these um, circle, these nodes, and you can make adjustments and kind of get it how you want. Um, and then I'm just going to do the trim command just to practice this some more. So I'm going to trim this line, that line, that line. That way it'll all be connected as well as this line. Then um, going back to our array command. I keep saying array, but it's really called pattern, sorry. Um, circular pattern command. I click that, and then I can click my, my things here to left click, left click, left click, left click. And you can tell it's going into the triangle here, so I don't like that. Um, but it says 3x here, so what if I change to 4? Will it still go into that? No, that looks better. So the 4x doesn't collide in this triangle. So I click anywhere but that, and it's done. And again, you still have to um, come in here and do some trimming. Um, but it's coming together. And again, we're just keeping it simple today, and we're just sticking with the line command. But there's so many other commands that you could do. Let me do um, one more here. Let me practice this. Um, let me. Let me go ahead and do one more. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch um, from here to there. And um, see if I mirror those two things. I do four, click outside to end it. Oops, I did something wrong. Let me do that again. So circular pattern. That looks good. OK, and um, And just got to figure out 
what you want to um, have fall out and, and what you want to keep. And it's totally up to you. There's no, there's no right or, or wrong. Um, so there it is. And at this point, if you've done it right, we should be able to extrude it. So over here on the extrude button, if I click this, and I'm going to go ahead and extrude it an eighth of an inch, 0.125. And you can see that it worked. Now, what if it doesn't work? What if, what if there, it just, it's not doing this for you? What, what went wrong? Well, again, you can go back to sketch one. I can double click it. So double click. And I'm now looking at sketch one. You really want to just go in and just, Make sure your lines are connected. If you have a gap here, that could be enough for the whole thing to fail. So that's where it gets a little frustrating as a beginner. So take your time, but if you have a little gap somewhere, it, it, it might not might not do that. But I'll be honest with you and tell you that at the end of the day, um, you don't really have to have it extrude to laser cut. Um, but what you do need to have is I'm going to exit out of this. So what you do need to have happen, like if I just, let's say I delete this here, right click, delete. So I just have a sketch here. And that's really all you need to, to, to cut. Um, but like I said in the very beginning, only one sketch. So if you right click your sketch and you go down to export as DXF slash DWG, this window pops up here and I'll call it um, Coaster Friday version one. And if I click export here. And let's see if I can open this up. I'm not sure if I have a program. Oh yeah, I do have I have a I have a CAD program on this computer where I can open up DWG files. But let's take a look and see if it turned out. It did turn out. So this is a DWG file. It's it's a two-dimensional file, which as you can see, and um, it's what the laser can follow, a really clear black and white line. So this turned out. This is ready to go for the laser. This will come out no problem. I'm not sure with... Um, Let's do another test. What if I was slightly rotated like this and I went to export it? Every CAD program is a little different. Coaster Friday version 2. We're just doing a little quick experiment here. So let's open this up. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you have it tilted. It'll still come out um, straight. So, great. So that's basically how you do it. And um, again, if it doesn't turn out, you always can go into double-click sketch one. You can um, erase things. Like if you don't like this line, I can hit delete. Delete. Press the delete key on your keyboard, and you can make some changes. Um, you know about the trim command, so, and you know that control Z is undo, so that's basically the lesson. So your assignment is to make a, a, a really cool coaster. As far as gray goes, you know, if you just put a circle in there and spend 10 seconds to array it and that's your coaster design, um, try and be more creative because again you have your grades of excellent, above average, average, below average, so really uh, use the offset command. Use the uh, pattern command, which I refer to as array command on this video. And, and be creative. Make it look really nice. Something that you'd be really proud to give to your best friend or someone in your family as a present. Make it that nice. All right. Okay. Good luck. Thanks for watching.